Hello dear student, how are you? I hope you all are good with your family. I am your teacher Shweta Alam, faculty of English from Maitri Lawyer and Higher Primary School. Dear student, in previous class we have discussed about the English grammar content parts of speech. How many parts of speech are there? Yes, there are 8 parts of speech in English grammar. Which are they? First one, noun. Second one, pronoun. Verb. Adverb. Adjective. Preposition. Conjunction. So, there are 8 parts of speech in English drama. So, in previous class, we have discussed about noun and pronoun and verb and adverb. What's the meaning of noun? Noun, it is a naming word of person, place, animal and thing are called as noun. And Kamala, Bangalore, Table, Tiger, and Shikaripur. These are the example for noun. Bangalore and Shikaripur are the naming word of place. And Kamala it is the naming word of person. And tiger it is the naming word of animal. Tiger it is the naming word of thing. So noun that means naming word of person, place, animal and thing are called as noun. So second one pronoun. Pronoun it is a word is used instead of noun. For example, Kavita drinks milk. Kavita drinks milk. Dear student, here which one is noun? Kavita it is the noun. Instead of noun, we use pronoun. So instead of noun, what do you use here? She. She drinks milk. She drinks milk. If I write here, Raju drinks milk. What do you use there? Instead of Raju, we use he. If I write here, children drink milk. Here, instead of children, we use they. Teacher. Teacher drinks milk. Here, instead of teacher, we use they. Okay. So, in the singular case, we use he, she, it. And in plural case, uh, plural case we use they, we, you. Okay. So instead of noun we use pronoun. It is called pronoun. Next one verb. Verb it is action word or doing word. Verb it is an action word and doing word it shows the only action of the noun. What I am doing now? I am teaching. What you are doing? You are listening. And Kavita is singing. Singing it is Verb like that and adverb. I am teaching firstly. Firstly, how I am teaching? I am teaching firstly. Adverb that means uh, it's always and with adverb ly form and also it describes the verb, another adverb, and adjective. Okay, so it's not only describe the verb. It uh, uh, describe the adjective also and adverb also and verb also. So it is called as adverb. For example, I am speaking loudly. Loudly is the adverb. And she runs very fast. Here, very. How he is run? He is run very fastly. Fastly it is the adverb. But here, very also describing the Word. Okay. So it is adverb. So, so many examples for the adverb. So, beautifully. And next one slowly, falsely, uh, melodiously, like that. So in this class, we will be discussing about for the adjective and preposition. What's the meaning of adjective? Anybody know? Yes. I will tell. Adjective means It is a verb it 
it describes it describes the noun yes adjective always describes the noun for the quantity and quality of the noun for example i give more examples here see i wear red sari so dear students here i it is the pronoun wear it is the verb and sari it is the noun which type of sari i wear i am wearing red sari so red it is adjective it describes the noun sari which is noun sari is the noun adjective describes the noun and next one i have curly hair curly hair here the student hair it is the noun which type of hair i have i have curly hair curly it is the adjective here adjective says the speciality of the noun next one raju drinks hot milk raju drinks hot milk here hot what is hot hot it is the adjective and milk it is the noun here uh, which type of milk i drink i drink hot milk hot it is adjective next one monkey has long tail monkey has long tail long it is the adjective and tail it is noun okay so long it is the adjective next uh, and these what red curly hot long or example for the quality which type of quality and quantity that means number of the number of how for example she bought a she bought a little milk so dear students here a little that means one one liter milk so it is the adjective and next one she has she has two eyes how she uh, how much eyes do she have yes sorry how much eyes do she have she have two eyes two it is the adjective and he has two legs how much legs does he have he have two legs two it is the adjective dear friend the number of the number and it tells the number of the noun e these are the example for the quantity how much okay so there are so many example for the adjective adjective always describes the noun and it always describes the quantity and quality of the noun for example for the quantity uh, she has to or uh, she has to like like that to to these are the ad adjectives and adjectives of the quality and quantity i wear red sari she has curly hair these types of example for the quality of the noun okay i hope dear students you understood this concept and next one preposition preposition is a word it uses preposition is a verb and it plays it before a noun it 
place before a noun or pronoun and it says relation between it says relation between noun and pronoun verb noun and pronoun noun and verb and also it uh, says the relation between adjective and noun
tells the speciality of the noun, which is the noun milk and dojo of the noun here. And hot milk, that means it representative uh, represents to the uh, quality of the noun here. Next one. Second example. They are they are coming coming on the road. So dear student, here they what is they? They it is pronoun. Okay, or coming or coming verb and road. Yes, road. What is road? Road, it is common noun. Okay, so on. What is on? On it is the preposition. Okay, dear student, is there adjective? No, there is no adjective. Okay, one more example. You will easily understand the concept. I will write the one more sentence here. Ramya. Ramya wears. Ramya wears a new dress. New dress and going to school going to school on the bus okay dear student here in this sentence which is noun you identify the noun first next one verb and adjective preposition Here, we have to write Ramya, it is the noun, and also school. Ramya, school, and bus. Three nouns are there. Ramya, it is the proper noun, and school is, and bus are the common noun, which is the verbs wear and going. Next one, which one is adjective? There is any adjective? Yes. She wears new dress. And dress also common noun. New it is the adjective. Which is the preposition. How she is going to school? She is going to school on the bus. On it is preposition. Okay. Yes. I will give one more example. Third one, I am having an interesting, interesting story to my friend, to my friend. Next one, adverb. There is no 
adverb adjective is there which is the adjective interesting interesting story i am telling a interesting story and next one verb which is verb telling telling is the verb and in the classroom preposition which is preposition in it is the preposition okay okay dear student first one now story friends and next classroom there are three nouns are there which is pronoun i it is the pronoun adjective interesting story next one verb am telling it is the verb which is preposition in it is the preposition next one i lost not i she lost she lost some money she lost some money on the road on the road okay here pronoun now uh next one adjective and preposition okay dear students which is pronoun she it is the pronoun and now road and money road and money road and money are the common noun adjective some it is the quantity of the noun next one preposition on on it is the preposition yes student i hope you understood the concept what is adverb adverb that means it modify the verb another adverb and adjective it is called as adverb okay for example i am singing melodiously melodiously is the adverb sings it is the verb verb that means it is an action verb what i doing i am doing teaching what you are doing you are listening listening singing jumping and writing reading these are the verbs next one pranav it is a word it used instead of now kamala sings well here kamala instead of kamala what do you use she sings well monkey jumps on the tree instead of monkey what do you use we use it jumps on tree next one now it is a naming word of person place animals and things and next one preposition what's the preposition preposition that means it is a word it placed before noun and pronoun and it has the relation between noun and pronoun and also verb and noun and next one adjective and noun for example where are standing and standing in front of the board in front of it is preposition where you are sitting you are sitting on the benches so on it is the preposition monkey is climbing on the tree on it is the preposition and birds are flying above the sky above it is the preposition and cat is sitting under the tree under it is the preposition cow is standing under the tree under it is the preposition the bus is standing at the bus station at it is the preposition dear student in this class we learned about adjective and preposition and in previous class we have discussed about noun pronoun verb and adverb and tomorrow we will discuss about conjunction and interjection okay and i will give some uh, homework on this topic through whatsapp okay